Monday night at Little John Coliseum in Clemson, the Wofford Terriers came calling to take on the Tigers. Wofford entering the ball game at 0-1, while Clemson comes in at 1-0. Welcome into Terrier Vision. Here are your highlights. High right side, Losing runs toward the baseline against Andre Young. Up top, it's Diggs, left wing, Tim Johnson. Johnson drives in, stumbles, and the ball's knocked away by Booker, stolen away by Grant. Stitt going to drive the other direction. Short jumper in the paint is good. High right side, here's Young. Young, high left side, Narciss, bounces on the left elbow. Now to Stanton, who nearly loses it. Right wing, Young. Young, out front, Narciss, crosses into the lane, jump stop, and he hits a 10-footer. It against Diggs, slides right off the screen, drives into the lane. Little runner, no good with the right-handed short. Cameron Rundles, defensive rebound for the Terriers, down three. Losing, left wing in the front court, bullets it in on the block to Dahlman, spins by his man, and he lays it in up and under Booker. Terriers at 13 on the shot clock. Johnson at the top of the key, hacked out, away to Dahlman. Left wing, Diggs, shot clock at six. Losing, three-pointer left side, buries it. Brad Losing with his first three-pointer of the year on his first three-point shot of the season. Actually, his second. It's top of the key to Andre Young. Young slides right off a high screen, gets it back out front to Smith. Right wing Young, three-pointer over Rundles is good. Oh, boy, these guys can't miss right now. Clemson in a man-to-man -man defense. They played that throughout on the left wing, Rundles. Now Diggs bounces inside the Dolman. He's doubled underneath, puts up a little shot, and he misses from the left baseline. It rims off. Rebound Clemson and Young. Left baseline, Jennings drives all the way and finishes off the window with the right hand. Shot clock at 18, game clock at 23. Losing at the midcourt circle, guarded by Stanton. Works toward the right wing. We're down to 11 on the shot clock. Losing, low dribble against Stanton. Works to the top of the key. Behind his back with the dribble. 13-footer good as he floats it home. We're down to five. Clint's another direction. Stanton with three. Stanton wants to drive. Puts up a leaner at the buzzer. It's short. Good defense by Kroll and Losing to help bottle up Stanton. And Wofford can go to the locker room down 10 points. Wofford right to left with the ball. If you're Clemson, you want to try to deliver the knockout blow early. If you're Wofford, you want to try to cut this to single digits. Brad Losing on the right wing with the dribble. Bounces right baseline to Dolman. Guarded by Booker. Right side of the lane. Diggs and he'll square up and bury a quick eight-footer. Jamar Diggs loves that mid-range jumper. Johnson pass deflected by Grant and taken away by the Tigers and Andre Young. Smith, long outlet underneath to Grant. Lays it in left-handed and he has fouled the three-point opportunity for the Tigers. The lead is back up to 12. Top of the key, Terry Martin. Handoff Losing with 14 points. Losing, free throw line, Giltner. He's going to back up and take a three, and he buries it. Kevin Giltner with his first points of the ball game. It's a 10-point Clemson lead. Crowd calling for defense here. Diggs. Loops it cross court, left wing, Martin drives in on Booker. Bounce pass right corner, Giltner, right wing to Losing. Losing, bounces low to Dolman. Dolman has trouble with it, picks it up, right wing, Giltner. Good look at a three, buries it. Kevin Giltner with the bucket, Dolman with the assist from the post. And it's 55 to 46, Tigers by nine. <laughs> right corner for Clemson, here's Stitt. Stitt gets it to Booker, right side of the lane. Big time hook shot, good over Terry Martin, who can't do much about that. On the right wing, it's Diggs, up top Martin, left wing Losing, Losing against Young, out front Rundles, good look at a three, sets his feet and drains it off the screen. Offered down 10 with 2.03 to go, Diggs, or make that Rundles, deep three from the left side, good. Cam Rundles cuts the deficit to seven. Diggs guarded by Young, right side high, here's Rundles. Rundles against Stanton, kicks it away to Giltner, deep three, left side, in and out. It was halfway down, rebound loose, and Booker tips it away now to Stitt. Stitt is double teamed and then fouled by Dahlman. Offered down nine, 36 seconds to go. Here's Rundles driving right side of the lane, loses the handle, gets it back. Free throw line Martin, bounces low to Dahlman, reverse layup is good, timeout Wofford. 12 seconds to go, Losing leaves his feet, gets away to Rundles with eight seconds. Rundles, right corner, Giltner, away right wing, Losing deep three, no good short with two seconds to go. Jennings with the rebound, that'll do it. Clemson winners tonight. Though the Terriers showed some fight in the second half, they come up eight points short. 78 to 70, your final tonight. Clemson beating the Watford Terriers. We're joined by Terrier head coach Mike Young. And, and coach, I bet if you get the first half back, you got a pretty good look at them in the second half. 
Uh, that was one of the that was one of the most incredible offensive explosions that I've seen in college basketball. I'm, I thought we were playing uh, our tails off. I thought we were playing really hard. A couple of really unlucky plays. Um, uh, we've got a great defensive possession. Uh, ball kicks out of our hands. Uh, the shot clock didn't reset, and right to Andre Young in front of me and makes a three. And there were a couple others like that. Uh, Devin Booker is making, and he looked like. Uh, you know, he looked like a pro already. He might be someday, but uh, I don't think uh, he's ready to make that shot consistently, and he puts it down. Um, you know, we were teetering there. I mean, we, we had our problems. I think we were down as much as 15, uh, but I just told them. I just told them. Uh, disappointed we lost, but, uh, Mark, we, we, we saw something tonight. We saw, you know, we saw that emotion and that energy and that, uh, you know, that cohesive, uh, you know, Wofford, uh, team that uh, that we've come to uh, love uh, uh, watch and play um, you know uh, bigger things to come we made progress tonight you know I was talking to Chris Johnson earlier today it was a great point um, you know that, 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 let's just, let's focus on that let's get better every day all right we got better today uh, let's come back and get a little bit better tomorrow and, and go down to Charleston and play in that tournament and um, you know try to play a little bit better and get a little bit better we're, we're on the right track though I feel good. Coach Brad Losing with a great first half, 12 points. He really kind of helped you guys hang around in that yeah, first he did. half. Yeah, he did. Um, gosh, you know, Tom, they're 4 of 11 uh, for the game from three. I thought they made seven in the first three minutes. I mean, it was, uh, <laughs> I was prolific. Uh, Losing was, uh, Losing was awesome. Um, they don't come any tougher. We know him. Uh, and, I mean, he kept us around. He kept us in it. The two threes, you know, to um, were, were a huge lift there in the, uh, in the first half. You know what you're going to get from him on the defensive end. Uh, you know what you're going to get from him in terms of his uh, distribution. Uh, he was very good for us tonight, yes. Uh, Coach, uh, Noah Dahlman at the half, two shots. And how do you address that when you're I'm playing sure. a team? Yeah. That... yeah, I'm not sure that I, I, I didn't. I said, you know, we want the ball in the post. I mean, I think it kind of goes without saying. You know, he's, he scored you know, 17 for the night. He scored 1,500 here in three years. They, they know we're going to put it in the post. But their pressure is so severe, um, you know, it's easier said than done. Uh, I, if I'd have made that comment, I would have fully expected one of them to tell me to get out there and try to stick it in there myself. <laughs> uh, easier said than done with the likes of Stitt and Andre Young and Tanner Smith. We really have a great admiration for Tanner Smith, all those backcourt guys. But... They've got uh, they've got good ones. Uh, we were trying, uh, Mark. We were trying to put it in there. Uh, they made it uh, they made it a bit difficult for me, for us at times. And uh, let's look ahead now. You mentioned get better each step of the way. You've got a couple of days, and then you get upstate in the tournament down there in Charleston, and it'll be an interesting experience for you. You get three games yeah, in four days. Yeah, it'll it'll be it'll be fun. Um, you know, a, a high level tournament. Um, you know, uh, I want to I want to uh, take this and dissect this. And um, I thought we made some uncharacteristically um, uh, unintelligent plays. And we've got a really a smart team with you know team that's oozing with savvy. We made some you know some mistakes at critical times uh, that um, that we need to shore up. Uh, we'll have 40 hours to uh, to get ready for our next one. And uh, you know we'll take uh, we'll take a, an improving team down there on Thursday and. I uh, look forward to being a part of it. So with their defeat at the hands of the Clemson Tigers, Wofford falls to 0 and 2. Next up for the Terriers, round one of the Charleston Classic at the Carolina First Arena in Charleston. That'll happen on Thursday afternoon with a tip off time of 230. Once again, your final Clemson 78, Wofford 70. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.